Hello, I'm Andy Friedlander, looking back at the latest Box Nation action replay. Las Vegas, the biggest fight of the century so far. Tens of thousands of new Box Nation viewers, brilliant. Well, Saturday night's super fight wasn't the only action on offer. As first, we went to the Mesa Halla in Erfurt for Ola Afalabi's rematch with WBO cruiserweight king Marco Hook. Captain Hook is nothing short of a hero in his adopted Germany, and the Londoner knew if it was going to be his night, he needed to come out banging from the first bell. Good left hand from Hook in right in the closing second. The referee didn't count Afalabi's knockdown in the second. Oh, well, I tell you what, that was a knockdown. So he took it out on Hook in the third. Bit of blood from the nose of Hook. Ola was beginning to dominate, but like any good captain, Hook began to steer his ship out of trouble through the middle rounds. Oh, oh, great shot! Uppercut, beautiful uppercut. An accidental headbutt drew blood in the seventh, but it didn't slow the Germans' relentless assault, and Afalabi was glad to hear the bell after the night. Huge attack! He's going to take it, he's going to take it. The bell's going to save him, the bell's going to save him. Well, that didn't but, come a moment too but, soon, and the referee gets in there. Ola was definitely still in it, but he had to start winning rounds, and war was declared. I'll leave John Rawling to describe the final seconds of this pulsating contest. Afalabi surely had to win this last round. Big burst. And look at Huck. This is straight out of a Rocky movie. This is incredible. The bell's gone. Spine-tingling action. What a fight that was. It was always going to be close, and the judges couldn't separate them, and Marco just managed to hold on to his belt. After the fight, Afalabi summed it up by saying, getting a draw in Germany is like getting a win. Well, maybe that win will come if a much-doubted rematch is set up later on this year. So, after a great start to the night, we hit the strip for the double main event at the MGM Grand in Vegas. Sugar Shane Mosley was giving away 19 years to the Mexican superstar, and it was going to take something special from the five-time world champion to beat Saul Canelo Alvarez. Alvarez was defending his title for the fourth time. Sugar was defending a record of never getting knocked out. The fighters sounded each other out in the early exchanges, but it was clear from Mosley's aggression there was still fight in the old dog. Yeah, I tell you this, for his age, he's doing a pretty good job. Shane was using his head, sometimes not within the rules. The 40-year-old had obviously prepared supremely for this fight, but if he was throwing more shots, Alvarez was landing more. Look at the hand speed of Alvarez with the power. Some shoeshine boxing in the eighth from Mosley entertained his fans, but the power punching from the champ brought the place alive. Oh, nice uppercut. That one almost lifted Mosley off his feet. Mosley needed a knockout, but it wasn't to be. And on this night, it was youth that overcame experience. And the bell ends fight, the fight. I would say everybody would hate to see that one again. Terrific fight. The entire crowd is on its feet. The crowd loved it. We loved it. Sensational performances from both fighters. And sadly, this may have been our last look at one of the all-time greats. When you get the, the kids starting to, to, to beat you up, you, know, you might have to stop promoting. <laughs> and so the stage was set for the big one. The stars were out in force as the money team made their entrance. But what teenage warbler Justin Bieber was doing there was anyone's guess. Mike, what do you think? Agreed. 42-0, Floyd Mayweather looked sharp. From the start, and his lightning jab combined with his reach advantage started to pay dividends. Bang with the right hand. Toto's power lift in the second proved nothing as Floyd began to mix it up. And he's choosing to mix with Cotto. Whatever Cotto tried, Mayweather had the answer. Big one with an uppercut that time. Snaps the head back at Miguel Cotto. Even when Cotto landed, he was paid back with interest. This guy is some kind of fighter. You're watching a genius. Miguel finally started to make his mark, drawing blood in the sink. The breathtaking pace set by both fighters never let up, and Koto was holding his own in this incredible battle. Got him in strong this round. Mayweather was showing respect to the Puerto Rican hero, but he put his foot on the accelerator again in the latter stages. When Mayweather's outside, he is untouchable. But after a few verbals from Koto in the final round, it was Mayweather who had the final word in a war that lived up to all expectations. What a show Floyd Mayweather's put on. So, how could First we top all, the one, biggest two, three, night for Box three, Nation three, so far? Well, by um, announcing the biggest all-British fight for years. Yes, 
Coming up on July the 14th, it's David Hay versus Derek Chisora. And it will be live and exclusive on the undisputed home of British boxing, Box Nation. Ooh, can't wait for that one. I'm Andy Friedlander. See you again soon.